Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous video, yes, we took two input parameters in the function module and our input is a internal table because we are going for select options and we all know select option is a internal table. Now we will come on to output part and we all know very well whenever we want a output from the function module we need to go to export. Now if I will go to the output in the case study our output is of six column, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we have multiple rows, multiple rows. So whenever we have rows and columns, it means we require a table. And if I will say the best word, we want a internal table. So output from the function module, is also a internal table of six columns. Now, whenever we want a internal table of six column, it means we require a structure type of six column. Can we create a structure here using type statement? No, because I cannot write a code here. It means we will simply, simply create the structure through which transaction code? SC11 transaction code. So I will go to SC11 transaction code and I will create a structure of six columns. I will go to SC11. Now again, we need to follow the instruction document. I will check what is the naming conventions to create a structure. For the structure, yes, ZSTR underscore relevant name. So I will create a structure. I will go to third radio button data type. ZSTR. Suppose I will give out. I will go for create. I will create structure. I will give the short description. Output structure. Now here we need to take six columns. If you see six column, one from VBAK, four from VBAP, and one from MAKP. So I will simply open that table and we will copy paste from there. So firstly, I will go to VBAK table. That is always the best way. From VBAK table, we want VBELN. So I will simply copy. I will pass that data element of VBELN. Now I will go to next. But the next column we require from VBAP, POSNAR, MATENAR, KWMENG, and VRKME. So I will open VBAP table. From here itself, I can go to different object. I will put VBAP. Yes, I want to go for database table. So we require POSNAR. So I will write in the structure. POSNAR. I will pass that data element of POSNAR. Now I will go to next. Next one is Matenar. I will check where the Matenar is. Yes, this is Matenar. I will pass that data element of Matenar.
now we will go to next next one we need to take from mkt table it's good if you are following the sequences so i will go to mkt table now from mkt table we require mktx mktx type i will pass that data element of mktx now i will go to next two columns next two columns is k w m e n g i will go for k w m e n g I will pass that data element. Now our next is VRKME, unit of measurement. This is VRKME. Now we all know whenever we have a currency or quantity fields we always always has to give reference table and reference field if i will go to this tab have you seen we are getting to pass the reference table and reference field for the quantity this is our quantity because we always always has to give a unit for the quantity suppose i am saying my weight is 60 it does not have any significance I need to tell, yes, my weight is 60 kg. So whenever we have the quantity, we always has to specify the unit. And yes, in the same structure itself, we have the unit field. We have the unit field. In the same structure, we took the unit field. What is the unit field we take? Weak R, K, and P. This is the part where so many freshers cram at the initial level. Yes, your name of the column for the unit is VRKME. In this structure itself, we took this column. So we are passing the reference from the same thing, same thing. Yes, sometimes people will give the unit here. Why? Whatever the name of the column you are giving, you need to give the same column name here. But the column name I gave, VRKME. It means I need to go for VRKME only. So my quantity is in this particular unit. I will simply, simply check the syntax and activate. No, I will save into the package. I will make a practice always for own request. And now I will save into the transport request. Now I will activate this structure. So my structure is active. If I want a internal table, if I want a internal table in the function module, how you are writing? Suppose I will give LT underscore output type table of structure name. And we all know in the previous video also we put so much stress. We cannot write type table of here. It is not accepting type table of, but yes, for internal table, table word is compulsory. It means we will create a table type. So I cannot create a table type through coding here. There is no option. It means I will create a table type through which transaction code? SC11 itself. It's a one-time learning. One time the concept is clear, same to same concept we will follow. So I will copy the structure name. Now, what is the naming convention to create a table type? ZTT. I will give ZTT underscore output. 
I will go to create. I will go for table type. Now I will give the short description. Output table type. I will pass the name of the structure. I will go for activate. I will store into the package and transport request only. Now the right transport request is coming. I can recognize by description itself. Now I will activate. Done. Now I will simply, simply go for output. Suppose my name of the output parameter is LT underscore output. Now type, type. And I will pass the name of the table type. This is our table type. Yes, as type table of is not accepting. That's why I use the word type type and I created the table type. Why I created the table type? Because I cannot use type table of. Now I'm activating the function module. So our input is ready. Our output is ready. 